Hello students, today we will be going over 2.7, Combining Functions. We are on page 54 in your green slash uh, pink packet. <clears throat> and the definition, our objective, I can combine functions. If f and g are functions, then the function f plus g, f minus g, and f times g are defined as this. So just kind of get used to what it looks like. It's really quite simple when it says f of x equals 3x plus 2. f of 3, you're just putting 3 in for x. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2 is 11. And so here, they're figuring out, okay, what is g of 3? g of 3, 2 times 3 is 6, minus 1 is 5. So they figured it out separately. And then, if you went ahead and combined this, 3x plus 2x was 5x plus 1. And if x is 3, 5 times x is 15, plus 1 is 16, you get the same answer here. Okay, so that's a little bit confusing. Let's go ahead and do an example here where it says find f plus g of x. So we put f down here, 3x plus 2, and we add it to g of x, which is 2x minus 1, and we get 5x plus 1. And then over here, if you put 3 in f plus g of 3, we put 3 in there. 3 times 5 is 15, plus 1 is 16. So over here, when we do subtraction, it's really important that you know that when you subtract 1, you're going to have to put parentheses around it. And if you need to, put a 1 here. Then you will use the distribution distributive property 3x plus 2, and then a negative 1 times 2x is minus 2x. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1. And then we combine like terms. The 3x plus minus 2x gets you 1x, and 2 plus 1 is 3. So there's our final answer if I'm just asking for f minus g of x right there. Now if I say what is f minus g of 3, that means we put 3 in for x. 3 plus 3 is 6. Okay. And I'll let you go over those other ones. I want to get right into doing some sample problems. Okay, so we're going to be combining functions. This is on page 55, so you want to turn your paper over on page 55. Where it says, here we're given h of x equals x plus 1, g of x equals 2x plus 6. So we're going to go ahead and add the two together. So I'm going to write down h of x, that's x plus 1, and I'm going to add g of x to x plus 6. Now I'm going to combine like terms. When it's just x, it's really a 1x. So we add 1x, always watch your sign in front of it, plus 2x, that's 3x. And then 1 plus 6, so the answer is 3x plus 7. Okay, next on your paper, number six, we have find h of x minus g of x. So h of x is x plus 1 minus g of x, and don't forget your parentheses, and that's an x right there, okay? So then I distribute a negative 1 through there, and basically that just changes the sign. So we have x plus 1 minus 2x minus 6. Then I combine like terms. I'm going to underline the x's along with the sign in front. x minus 2x is a negative 1x, or you can just put negative x. Plus 1 minus 6 minus 5. And we're done. Okay. Next, we're going to go to number seven. 
and we have find g minus h of x. So that means we have to list g first. We know g is 2x plus 6 minus, and you got to put it in parentheses, h is x plus 1. Now, g minus h, h minus g, do you think these are going to be the same? Probably not because they're flip-flop. That's like saying is 6 minus 7 the same as 7 minus 6? No, it is not. But there is a relationship between the two. So we go 2x plus 6. And again, you can put a 1 there. Basically, it changes the signs of that. So that'll be minus x minus 1. Then we have a 2x and a minus x. And that will give us x. And then a plus 6 and a minus 1. So get in the habit of underlining your x's and circling your regular numbers so you know what you're combining. And then we just put 6 minus 1 is x plus 5. And you have your answer there. Okay. Next, it says let's find h times g of x. Okay. So this is when we can either do FOIL or we can draw the boxes. I'm going to go ahead and do FOIL. So I write h of x, x plus 1. And the other one is 2x plus 6. Okay, so I'm going to go first one because it's FOIL. Remember, first, outside, inside, last. So just a quick review on FOIL. The F stands for first. x times 2x is 2x squared. Okay, outside x times 6, so that's plus 6x. Inside 1 times 2x is 2x. And then last 2, 1 times 6. Then we combine our middle terms. So 2x squared, 6x and 2x. Again, I'm going to underline like terms, plus 8x plus 6. And you're done. Now, I'm going to have you go ahead and change what's given there on um, where it has in the middle of the page. Um, hold on. where it has x squared plus 2x plus 3. I want you to go ahead and cross out the x squared. Okay, so go ahead and put, we're just going to cross that out. So then f of x will be 2x plus 3. Okay, I think that's more manageable and I think you guys can do this. Okay, go ahead and finish the rest of page 55 and then Let's go on to page 56. I don't know if you need any more examples. 56 is kind of weird. Let's try one more. Actually, I guess I do one more on page 55 with the new f of x. And it says find f plus g of x. All we're doing is adding 2x plus 3 plus x minus 4. So f plus g. I combine 2x and 1x, and I get 3x. And plus 3, always circle the sign in front, and minus 4. Easy peasy. Okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and skip that one for now. I will go ahead and do one more multiplication one so that you have practice with um, FOIL. Okay, so we have an x minus 1 and a negative 5x minus 2. And again, I'm using FOIL. First, outside, inside, last two. x times negative 5x, negative 5x squared. Remember, when nothing is there, you can pretend there's a 1 there. Then outside, 1x times negative 2 is negative 2x. Inside, 
negative one times negative five X is plus five X and negative one times negative two is plus two. Okay, I'm gonna underline my like terms, which are the ones with X's. This one I leave alone, negative five X squared. So there's no other X squared. Then I go plus, cause these are opposites, I have to subtract, but there's more five here. So plus three X and then plus two. And that's my final answer. Okay, again, go ahead and finish the back side of this page, page 55 and 56 for homework. And do not forget to cross out that X squared on the new F of X on page 55. Okay, all right, students, you can get this. You rock.